What up, this is Rama Screen at the Pasadena Playhouse for the live radio play of It's a Wonderful Life, and I'm here with Momo Rodriguez. How you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Excited about today's play. Yeah. It sounds amazing, especially radio version. You don't see that in, you know, at, at all anymore, so I'm trying to see how it turns out. What's your um, memory of watching the movie? Because it's one of everybody's favorite. I think I mean, the memory, one of my favorite memories is always like reminded in the end why we're all important and why everybody we have in our lives is also touched by who we are. Mm. So no matter who you think you are, whatever you feel you are as a person, you're impactful in many different ways. So that's a special message of it. That sounds amazing. It's, 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 <laughs> it's, it's, it's you know, people, it. people say it's a, it's a sad, no, it's a beautiful movie to be, you know, a guy who does right, does right, gets right. We all get frustrated. Yeah. We get frustrated all the time. But, you know, he had his faith, you know, he lost it, but then he found it again and someone reminded him. And I love the movie, the end. it says uh, a man with uh, friends is never... It's, it's never uh, poor, you know? Wow. Now, I, I gotta ask you, how wonderful is your life? Well, that's wonderful, you know, as long as you have, you know, a family that's always with you and, uh, and believes in you, then uh, you can handle anything else. Everything else will come and go, there'll be ups and downs, but if you have family and people who stand behind you and beside you, then that's, that's why my, my, my life is wonderful right now. So, what are your plans for this Navidad? It is to spend time with crazy Mexicans <laughs> and just try to deal with it. Just try to, speaking, you know. of, speaking of whom, I'm a big fan of George Lopez. Uh -huh. Can you share to us, uh, I've never met the man, uh, how is he collaborating with George Lopez? George how Lopez is, is probably one of the master teachers and he wants you to do so well, even if it means separating yourself from him and anybody else. I mean, he's, a, he's been a teacher. He's been an inspiration. He's helped me in so many ways. But most importantly, he never forgets about his people. And he always remembers that the best part about your people is the message you give in your work. So I'm always excited to collaborate and even be part of whatever he's doing. But he's El Mas Chingon for a reason. You know what I mean? I got you. Last question before I let you go. Uh, what's your advice for aspiring com comedy writers out there? Keep on writing no matter what. Even if your stuff doesn't make sense at first, rewrite, rewrite. And when someone tells you they don't think it's good, then keep it the same way and in a year visit it again and tell them that the thing that they thought sucked actually got picked up for three seasons. So Awesome. Yeah. Congratulations, sir. Thank you so much.